Okay, here we are at John's Pass. We've got Captain Larry uh, with his boat, the other line, who's been very uh, vocal and an enthusiastic Parker boat owner uh, for quite a number of years, blogging on classicparker.com. And uh, Larry has had suspension installed in his boat for a number of years. Um, Larry, how long have you had suspension now? I installed the suspension seats about six years ago. I had the boat about a year uh, before installing the suspension seats. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, quite frankly, um, I almost sold the boat in that year uh, until I discovered the suspension seats. And uh, if, if, what do you think? How many hours do you have you logged? On, uh, I've on the logged so about uh, 500 hours uh, on the boat and on the seat. I would say probably 400 with the suspension seats. Okay. And uh, uh, we love them because we do a lot of offshore fishing. And uh, as you might imagine, with those boats that have a forward helm, the ride can get a little tough. Yes. Uh, so what the suspension seats allow me to do is travel that two or three hours offshore uh, in comfort and it doesn't hurt my back, doesn't dislodge you as you're riding and it's just fantastic. Excellent. And uh, have you had any issues with uh, pitting, corrosion, maintenance or uh, anything that you would think, okay, well a boat is, is a high maintenance item, but uh, how does that work for the pedestals? Have well, you... actually, if your camera can catch it, uh, these are the original seats, the original finish, the original rubber. This is an outdoor boat. It sits on a dock in the sun, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There is no pitting on the uh, finish. Um, there's rubber is not cracked, and uh, quite honestly, it's not because I do exceptional maintenance. Uh, I haven't done a thing to them other than wipe them down every once in a while. And yeah, they look good. They, they look, look like they came out of the box. Brand new. Yeah. Brand new. It's amazing. And quite frankly, if you compare the finish on the uh, pedestal to the finish on the rest of the boat, and I have no issues with the rest of the boat, but you can see that those seats and those pedestals have not fitted one bit. Yeah. Uh, if you had great. a standard aluminum pedestal, uh, I promise you it would be fitted after this period. Yeah, I can see that the uh, the footrest, which is an aftermarket item. Yep. Uh, and look at and the arm. Look at the armrests. Yeah, that's that's it's got some oxidation there. Yep. The footrest um, does show some corrosion activity going on, but uh, it looks like the paint uh, on the suspension tube there is just like brand new still. Brand new. Yeah, it's wonderful to hear. Uh, what is what are some of your most harrowing experiences? I mean, you go out in uh, three, four foot chop, or is is that about the maximum you go? <laughs> well, we, we try not to. Uh, we don't do it on purpose, but sometimes that happens. We will actually do offshore runs with the boat. We do overnight runs from the boat, and we're here in uh, St. Petersburg Beach. We make runs to the middle grounds, which is a pretty big haul, eighty miles or so. Yeah. And uh, sometimes the, the the seas pick up. Uh, and it sure is great having the suspension seats because they kind of keep you grounded to the seat. You're not getting jostled all over the place. And again, uh, I'm not a young buck. I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> uh, my back just can't handle that kind of uh, compression when you're going over right. those kinds of uh, waves. And so uh, had it not been for the suspension seats, like I said, uh, this boat probably would have been gone. All right. Thank you, Larry. Thank you also for being such an uh, enthusiastic customer. You've been with us for a long time, and, uh, and I read the blogs that you write, participate in. 